Hey everybody, a little update on the miniature machine shop I'm putting together. This is the Lathe Master 8x14 lathe that I've put together from pieces. The Cycle Troll 150 and the DRO 550 up there in the left hand corner. Tonight I wanted to focus on the tailstock alignment. That's something I've been working on. And uh, this is the tailstock that I had to buy from Harbor Freight. I had to take this apart and clean it off completely oil all the cast iron surfaces and I've got it adjusted pretty close to where I want it. I wanted to show something else. I follow the ABOM 79 channel. He uses these Nogaflex indicator holders. This is the one I got. I got this off of eBay recently. I think it was around $30, maybe 30 or 40 total. But that's the part number and it's a good piece of gear. It's a fully articulated indicator holder. I remember years ago, I used to use an 8x14 lathe and I had a mag base, kind of a stick style indicator holder and I'd end up having these oddball sticks coming over and then you'd, you'd about get the part um, indicated and then the and you'd move it to a different setting and then the rod would drop or droop and it was it was a mess. But these fully articulated Noga indicator holders are very cool. I've got a little rod. This is a piece of rod I salvaged from a strut and it is, I, I carefully, rather than throwing the steel away, I, I carefully um, faced both edges and center drilled them and so it's kind of a makeshift alignment tool. I thought it'd be useful for at least getting started on setting things up. So right now I've got that set on zero. I don't know if you can see that very well or not on the uh, on the dial indicator. Let me, let's crank her over to the far setting. It's about a foot long. I hadn't, haven't measured that in a long time. So anyway, let's see what we got. The rod's a little wavy. It definitely flexes some. So let's see if you can see that. I got it. It's within a half thou. Yep. There we go. It shows up pretty good. So I'm pretty pleased with that accuracy of alignment for the tailstock with all that hanging out there so I'll, I'll lock things down but this Noga indicator holder is very cool and I'm not being paid to endorse it or anything like that this is just a guy who bought a piece of gear and thought it was pretty cool so um, I'm really looking forward to using that it's a very small one in comparison to some of the ones like that ABOM uses but man when it comes to aligning stuff in the four jaw, four jaw is very useful and uh, I really I, I I kept my four jaw chuck on this lathe on the other lathe I had almost all the time and people were amazed um, at the results I got from different projects with it so I'm thinking that plus the Noga indicator holder it's going to be really really useful and really helpful so I hope that's useful for y'all thanks for watching I will keep you posted